Hello everyone and welcome to 360 World Trip, a channel where I take you on an immersive 360 experience of locations around the world. Today, let me take you to House of Mary, also known as Virgin Mary's House. It is a revered Christian and pilgrimage site located on Mount Koresos near Ephesus, Turkey. According to tradition, this house is believed to be the final residence of the Virgin Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ. According to Christian traditions, after the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, the Apostle John took Virgin Mary under his care. It is said that in her later years, Mary embarked on a journey with John and few other disciples to Ephesus seeking a peaceful refuge. On the verdant slopes of Mount Koresos, Amidst the rustling leaves and serene surroundings, Mary is believed to have spent her final years in contemplation and devotion. The story of House of Mary finds its roots in ancient texts and accounts, including the writings of apostolic fathers and early pilgrims. Over the centuries, the sacred site gained significance among Christians as a place of pilgrimage and spiritual reflection. While the house fell into despair over time, it was discovered and restored in 19th century. Today, it stands as a destination of pilgrims and visitors alike who come to pay their respect and connect with the legacy of Mary. Now, let me tell you about how the House of Mary was discovered in the 19th century. In the early 19th century, a German nun named Blessed Anne Catherine began experiencing mystical visions. She is perhaps most well known for her accounts of the Passion of Jesus Christ. Among her numerous visions, she recounted experiences related to the life of Virgin Mary. She described in great detail the house in Ephesus where Mary was said to have lived after the crucifixion of Jesus. According to Emmerich's accounts, she had mystical visions that guided her to this location and she described the house and its surroundings with remarkable precision. Her visions included details about the architecture and the environment and even the daily life of Mary while she lived there. Her descriptions included the location of house believed to be the final dwelling place of Virgin Mary. Her visions ignited curiosity and sparked a search for the sacred site. This is the House of Mary. Now unfortunately, because photography and videography is not allowed inside, I was not being able to film the videos there. However, this will not stop me from showing the outside and the surrounding of the house. From the original house, only two to three feet remains. The rest of the chapel was built on top of it. Fast forward to the 19th century, a time when an American researcher named William C. Friend was captivated by the account of Blessed Anne Catherine. Friend's pursuit of historical truth led an investigation to the location of House of Mary, driven by his passion and guided by the mystical visions of Emmerich, Friend embarked on a journey that would forever change the perception of House of Mary. Through diligent research and determination, Friend followed the clues left by Emmerich and eventually identified the site on Mount Koresos as a possible location of the Virgin Mary's dwelling. It was a convergence of faith, historical inquiry an unwavering commitment that brought Emmerich's vision and friend's discovery to light. The story of these two individuals intertwined to unveil a new chapter in the legacy of House of Mary. Today, as visitors step into the hallowed grounds of House of Mary, they are reminded of an enduring impact of faith, vision and human endeavor. Today, visitors can not only see the small room where Mary is said to have lived, but also the chapel that was built on top of it, 
with the stunning views over Selchuk town. There's also a fountain with holy water which many have believed has healing powers. Visitors can drink or collect this water as they wish. And as you can see, I did manage to even fill up a small bottle of water of holy water to carry home with me. As we conclude our journey through the story of House of Mary, let us carry with us the spirit of exploration and the power of belief that continue to bind humanity across cultures and continents. I hope you enjoyed this tour of House of Mary. I will be uploading more videos just like this. So subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive updates on new videos. Do like and leave a comment. Thank you and I will see you in my next video.